I'm Gigi, this is Sable, and between episodes I was checking the recording to make sure it didn't like corrupt anywhere or anything, because that'd be very bad. And so I re-listened to the Saren recordings, and I completely lost my train of thought about what I was going to say. God damn it. Um, oh god, what did Saren say? Um, 46... There are like 46 Earth Hours. Oh my god, this is unfortunate. <laughs> I, I had a revelation, or at least a thought, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna open up the recording by talking about this, and I immediately forgot it. What's going on in here? Egg. Prickly pear. You are not eggs. You are cactus fruit. Can I just... Okay, thank you. Um... Come on. Come on, Simone. Let me on. Nope, I humped off. There we go. So we've got like... I mean, these provide some pretty good shadow, I guess. Yeah. Some nice, cool areas for plants to grow. So, if we are from Earth, what brought us here? Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Um, on the hull of the Center of Brunswick, there it's English text saying Center of Brunswick, and I don't think we've seen English text before. And when Sable was describing the screen as it like played the recording, she said that there was like symbols and ancient text she didn't understand. So that was just regular English that was on the screen. And I don't think we write in regular English. I don't think I've seen like regular English written like and, and not translated for us the player, you know? So they really were just like humans that came here and I'm wondering what that means about the perpetual. Um, if it's like got a real like sci-fi explanation or if there if this is like a magic meet sci-fi world I'm very fascinated um, you're just like a flipped over bone man um, there's just like nothing out there all right yeah so there's not much interest out in this bone area I'm gonna check out this one real quick and I'll probably warp over to the worm so we can check out the like donut structure on the map. Unless the donut structure is the plateau. That's possible. Um, just some more prickly pears. Alright, let's warp to the worm. And we check out if this donut is just the plateau that I was seeing. I bet it actually is. That's interesting then. The that plateau is like hollow. Um let's put Oh, so the the warp for the worm is over here, but it actually brings us to the worm. Interesting. Um so yeah. Come on, Simon. We have got places to explore. So let's see. Plateau we're going this way, right? Yes. So I should see the plateau come over this hill. Right? Yeah. Right there. Are we pointing right at? Yeah. So that's okay. So that's the plateau. All right. And we can't get up there yet because we don't have... I wonder if maybe we can get like... We can add parts to some moon that let us like fly through the air. And that'll let us get to higher points that we couldn't before. Or if we get more stamina and I just like climb up all that way. Alright, interesting, interesting. Now over to this interesting structure. There's like a door in the side here. Yeah. I guess let's just go inside and see what happens. No need to scope out the outside. The vivarium. Vivarium? Vivarium? Who knows? Let's see where we are on the map. So the vivarium is just like buried in the sands. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's like a big plant greenhouse. Greenhouse. These are like 
normal cacti. I mean, they're a little yellow. What? I mean, we've seen some of these shrubs around, but we haven't seen an actual, like, cactus yet. We've seen little yellow plants, and one that I thought was a signpost once, and that's just like a fern. So are these earth plants brought with us? Some of them look like it. What in the world? Okay. What else is in here? A hallway, thank you, nice game. This feels dramatic. Um, that doesn't look very earth planty though. I don't know of any cacti that have the holes in them. Like, and they've got like weird, weird rock formations set up in here. So there's a door there. Okay, so we got all sorts of doors. Oh, hello, who are you? I said hello to researcher Cassie. Interesting. Oh, blah, sorry. And you've got a really interesting mask. Welcome to the Great Vivarium. The person at the desk greets me with open arms, which they lower with some avian flourish. I feel very greeted. You're a glider, aren't you? I am. You'll like the place of... You'll like this place, I'm sure of it. They take a breath, they're not sh or they take a breath, like they're not sure of it, and I let them speak. I'm Cassie, and I'm the proprietor of this vivarium. It's good to meet you, Sable. Sable, that's a great name. I'm Cassie, or I, I said that, didn't I? Sorry, forget that. Welcome to the vivarium, a home for animals small and smaller, from the sleekest fish to the most fragile butterfly, and everything between. This is where I bring all my butterflies and stuff, which is mostly plants and rocks. I know, it, it needs a bit of work, but I'm new at this. Sounds like she smiles, if nervously. It wasn't long ago I finished my own gliding. Um, congratulations. I congratulate Cassie on finishing her gliding and on creating such a lovely vivarium. It's a place that feels very happy. If I can give you one piece of advice, when you think you're done thinking about what you want to do, think again, because I was supposed to be an angler. Now here I am in a vivarium, researching all the fish I was too unskilled to catch. It wasn't much for butterflies either. I'll keep that in mind. Cassie crosses her arms and observes me for a moment, then seems to get an idea. You know, maybe this is getting ahead of myself, but I was thinking about how this sort of thing, this collecting thing, might be a good task for a glider. Because I've been thinking about the, how the world's worst ang <laughs> wor the world's worst angler and butterfly catcher, me, can't really be counted on to fill this vivarium forever. I tell her I'm interested. Well, I mean, I don't have any badges to give away or a mask or anything. But what if we did it for fun? Okay, so, yeah, she doesn't have like a bat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you got some spare time and you feel like fishing, bring whatever you catch. Or you pluck a butterfly out of the air. Perfect, I'll make a home for it. And then, who knows, maybe someday it'll be a real glider task. That sounds good. Perfect. Then, I guess, onward glider to fish and also to bugs. A classic glider phrase. And if you've got anything with you already, I'd be happy to take a look at that too. Um, well, I can catch fish in water, but I haven't seen any water. I also need probably to bring some beetles to her, but I only caught three of each beetle, so I don't have any beetles anymore. How do I catch fish? I admit to Cassie that while well, she may be very bad at fishing, I have another issue, which is that I've never fished at all. I ask if she has pointers. It's a quick no. In fact, it's no, 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 no. I'm probably the worst person to teach you. You'd probably pick up bad habits. I did used to have a good teacher though, Yoshi the angler out in the sand sea. I think he still mentors if you would like to chat with somebody who's got the knowledge. Kind of kind fellow and even tempered. Look for a trawler. And if you ever think about an angler mask, I bet he'd take you on in a heartbeat if you really wanted. I tell Cassie that's good to know and thank her for the tip. Um, I got some butterflies. Thanks, Sable. I'll put these in tanks. Um, okay, that's all I got. 
So, yes, now I'll have butterflies floating around here. Somewhere, anyway. So this is the museum. Nice. What else is in here? Ooh. So this is what the water in this game looks like. Sploosh. Interesting. So, I was thinking this was like an old, like, human earth-made place, but it seems like this is rather new and adapted from the old technology that us middens have taken over from our predecessors. So this is all fauna from around the world that I'll probably see, and not old earth fauna. Whoa. This is for something important, isn't it? I don't know for what, but it's got its own whole room here. And it's like a nice breeze and like leaves rustling. And it's like a blue dome. Oh, don't climb the wall, Sable. Lots of interesting stuff. Also, I was thinking, um, there's the atomic priesthood that we heard about because we got this shirt. So I wanna like, learn more about the atomic priesthood. That sounds very interesting. I don't think I came in this way. Maybe I did. It's, yeah, I came in this way. Because the moon's right out there. What else? I think I'm going clockwise. Did I, I'm a little bit lost now. Oh, this is a different solo room. Okay. It's like a red band on that rock. There's like birds chirping in the air. This is a cool area. I love this place already. All right, noted. Let's get out of here. Um, I kind of thought this would be like a whole place to explore, but it's just a museum area. Meaning I have to figure out other things to do in this episode. Um, I know what I want to do in this episode. I need to go explore those triple sand dunes. Um, no, no, uh, yes. Uh, okay, so I can't, I can only, ah, yes. So if I press A on you, okay. So like the big locations I can warp to. I can't warp to just anything that shows up on the map. Moon. I tried to like center the camera behind me. I don't know why that's not a thing in this game. There she is. Let's go check out those big dunes. And do a little spin. Aw, oh, if I like spin the joystick, I can't make <laughs> the moon do donuts. Sad. Up we go. You got this, right, Samoon? No, you don't. That's okay, you brought me far enough. And I can like Skyrim horse myself, right? Not here. You gotta find another way up. Or you can just kinda slowly climb the geography like this. Is there nothing here? This is looking like nothing. Not even like a worm. That's sad. It really is big ol' nothing. That means that's everything in the wash for now. We'll have to come back once we can do things about the worm. Maybe we'll get like a quest like come down into this area, but I'm not seeing anything on the map, so I'm not quite interested. So I guess I want to explore this big like vertical area that's kind of split in this half of the map. And this, the bottom half of the map. Come on, Samoon. I should look for more of Saren's terminus. But I don't have like a quest line for that. Come on, Samoon. There you are. And also earlier, I had to real on the fly turn on my timer 
after some minutes had passed. So I don't know if this is going to be slightly longer or slightly shorter. Because when I turned on my timer, um, I set it for 20 because I thought maybe 5 minutes had already passed. That was right around when I was entering the vivarium. So I have no clue. This might be a little on the short side. I do not know. Got like a canyon going on here. New area. Ooh, different lighting. Maybe that's because the sun's rising. That's, yeah, saw some of these plants in the vivarium. What's going on in this area? Can't use my map anymore, so we gotta find a new map. Or just anywhere at all, really. Um, yeah, so canyons, we'll leave the canyons alone for now. Come into this open area. I love the, even the sand is like in layers on the sides of the, hello, sides of the canyon. What is this thing? I am intrigued, I am fascinated. Yes, I know not to lose my bike. Thank you, game. Can I climb up this wall, or is this wall too high? It's all hard to tell until I get right up to it. Now I can climb this shit. Let's go. We're climbing. We're climbing. I need to know what this is. I feel like I might have like already just like passed right through the area. Where am I? Oh wait, yep, here we are. The wrong area. Nice. Um, what are you? Hercules Beetle Nest. Beetle Nest, let's go. Oh, what just happened there? <laughs> Say we'll just like fell over and curled up for a second. This is a huge beetle nest? That's fucking crazy. Why, why is this beetle nest so huge? Whoa. I heard beetle sounds. I don't see any beetle though. But I see a circle there. And I'm sus of that circle. What? It's, this game just gives you things to explore. I love it. Now how do I get into the beetle nest? Do I have to climb on top? Seems like that'd be hard to do. Maybe I have to come in from one of these like tendrils. But the one I started at was a little small. Or not a little small, it was just closed off. I think I was thinking that these platforms are a little small to give me much boost up to the top. Huh. Worm! Wait. Okay. Yes, here we go. Hello, worm. Give me your goods. Right. Um, can I... I think I can climb up here. Hopefully. Yeah, I got enough stamina for this one. Can I make it to the top is the question. There's a little hole. There's like wood in there. I definitely can't reach the top, right? We'll give it a shot, I think. Ooh, we're close, but I don't think we'll make it. Oh, but I got an achievement called Nestling Giant and I'm falling. So <laughs> I got high enough for the game to think I made it but not quite. Interesting. Um, Sable, Sable, please, please Sable. All right, um, by the way, um, my computer sucks. So I, between every recording session, I can probably climb up to that one. I have to reset OBS to, hello, to, um, 
make it so that it like refreshes a little bit. Okay, this is, I'm struggling here. I have to refresh OBS, just close it and reopen it so that it stops audio lagging because I'm, I'm, we come back to this because I, I can't think and talk and do this. Um, so OBS sucks and my computer sucks. And so even after just like 30 minutes of recording, a little bit of desync happens. Hello. Okay. And yeah, okay. Makes sense. So every episode should start with no desync, but as things go on, we get a little more desync. Um, and I can't just like, oh, there's a lot of things here. Um, and I can't like fix it in editing because I record as MP4 to save on CPU usage because otherwise the footage would be even laggier and more low quality. And so I have to, I can't like, what I'm saying is the audio, <laughs> talking and thinking and playing is hard. I'll tell you what, I understand the whole let's play curse thing a little bit now. Wow. But so my mic audio and my game audio are recorded into the same like audio part of the MP4, so I can't fix them separately. So that's the whole thought. Okay, now I can stop worrying about it. Oh, it's another beetle shrine like we had in the Ewer. Interesting. And I, I like the little music. The music has kind of been giving me a little bit of Animal Crossing vibes which fits with just kind of like running around and catching beetles and butterflies and fish. And I'm just climbing. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I am ascending. There's stuff here. There's, we've got like vines going through the windows. Um, that's something. What are you? You look like an egg. I hold you. What is you doing? Hello. I'm putting you down. This probably has something to do with catching beetles. Or I can put it in the middle of those like weird ball nests. Alright. What's going on here? Okay. Nothing in here. We don't have like a chum on top of here, do we? Definitely not. Let's look around while we're up here. They got just a bunch of canyons that way, flat sands that way. Um, I've been all around the beetle nest. What is that? Are those just birds? There's some scary birds. Okay. Um, this is north. So that's the area I was interested in. That's kind of like splitting the area. The area, yes, that's splitting the map. Okay, so I think we'll go out into the wide open sands a little bit. Oh, the sun's rising. From where? Somewhere. There it is. There's the sun. All right, let's get this weird thing and bring it down. Um, can I? Oh, <laughs> I dropped it while I was falling because I had to use my perpetual. All right. Oh, I'm rumbling a little bit. That must mean there's a chum nearby. So I gotta look for that buddy. Can I put you down here? What even is this? No, it's just sitting there. This, that is a strange little object. Oh, I bet there's a chum through here, maybe. Meaning, maybe I have to come from above. Can I look in there? How do I get in here? He's in there. He's in there. I see him. Yes. Chum. 
Yo, what up? Alright. Alright, Chum Acquired. That's 17. And I still have no use for them. Maybe if I, like, followed the main quest of the game, I'd find a use for them. But, eh. Who wants to do that? Um, I won't be able to bring Samoon over these rocks. But I do not want to go out into big open desert without Samoon. So maybe I can just kind of like warp Samoon a little bit. Maybe. Oh, hello. Sunshine butterfly. That's cute. Um, butterflies that hibernate during the cold desert nights by burrowing into the sands. During the day, they fly in the dunes, actively seeking sunlight to absorb into their wings in a process akin to photosynthesis. Plant butterflies. Nice. Is there anything down there? There's another butterfly, but I have one now. And I want to explore over here. Anything? Just, uh, just a pillar? Looks like just a pillar. And some wind through the air. Alright, Sunshine Butterfly, you're mine. So that probably means Sunshine Butterflies don't come out in the day. I mean, there's probably some a kind of butterfly that comes out during the night somewhere. Okay, I don't need to come through here. Smooth. Yes! Warp! Warp for me, Samoon. Good Samoon. I love you, Samoon. Let's go. Whoa! That was some air time. Okay, so we got more bones. We're seeing a lot of bones of probably dangerous creatures, but no dangerous creatures. Which, I don't know if that's concerning or what. But I don't I want to know why they all died. That's what I want to know. Are they just dead because the hot desert? I mean, we know like the weird dragon guys. They all they're like dead dead probably for sure. I bet. What's out here anyway? Plant? Yeah, we saw one of these in the vivarium too, so You're just like here. Oh, hello camera. All right. Come on, Simon. What about these bones? Yeah, these dragon guys. They're like dead dead. The whales, maybe. I'm just gonna go off on a limb and say that those are the whales. I see a balloon. I'll make my way over to that. Um, I'm gonna just go off on a limb and say that those are the whales because the chalk deposits in the wash were created by the fall of the whale and I can only think that that means giant dead dragon that <laughs> they made a settlement out of so seems likely to me that those are whales and that that big one in specific was the whale um, obviously not like earth whales. Earth whales don't float and have weird bone wings. How are you suspended like that? Well, that's definitely my way up. Oh, I, hang on. What in the world? Whoa. This is an exciting place. Alright, so we're gonna go up that route. Up to the top. Next time! Yeah, that's right. My timer went off, meaning we're at somewhere close to 25 minutes, presumably. And I mean, I kind of try to go for like 25 minutes and then find a stopping point, but this game has a lot of like natural stopping points. So 25 minutes to 30 minutes is, is the goal and is what's going on. So it's working out. Next time we'll climb up these structures, these rock formations, and bones. See you then.